Did you know that Better Call Saul features 55 characters from Breaking Bad? This includes three characters not always played by the same actress, four who are only mentioned in Breaking Bad, four who don't have a name, four inanimate objects, and five who were in all three shows. And it's easy to miss how clever the show was in revealing most of these characters. Often there's a clue for the careful observer, followed by a glimpse of the character, maybe out of focus, or maybe just a stomach, and often you hear their voice before being hit with a big reveal. In this video I've taken on the impossible task of ranking the reveals based on how exciting they were, and I've clustered them into six tiers. Let's start at the bottom, the I didn't even realize they were in Breaking Bad tier. And here's your warning, there are spoilers ahead for all three shows. Number 55. Thank you God Insurance for telling me about this one. Never stop being that guy. I don't know if this was intentional or just the reuse of a local actor, but this cartel gunman pops up in Better Call Saul as the billboard worker Jimmy hired to intentionally fall. Took you long enough. 54. The same goes for this party goer at Jesse's house, who we learn is named Brenda and used to work at HHM. Brenda, looking good. Nice too. 53. Look on the bright side. This teacher at Walt's school also supported Kim during her bus breakdown. 52. Gus's lesser known henchman Nick, who got shot and later dissolved, has a blink and you miss it introduction in Better Call Saul, although he does appear more after this episode. 51. What were you doing in a shooting fight on your own with no backup? Austin is from the El Paso division of the DEA. There are only five characters that appear in all three of Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, and El Camino, and Austin is one of them. 50. This one is debatable. Jody is the realtor who held the open house for Jesse while Walt and Jesse were cooking meth in the basement. In Better Call Saul, there's a long buildup to reveal the realtor of this home. Hey folks, do you mind signing in? Thanks again. And many believe this is the same character. However, it's a different actress who looks older rather than younger, and the sign isn't for Sunny Realty, and the character's name in the credits is simply Realtor, so I don't really believe it. 49. I spoke with Blanca. She said that Steven's going to El Paso. Blanca is only mentioned once in Breaking Bad, and her first ever appearance is a nice addition to the Better Call Saul finale. 48. So are you the boy's father? No. Okay, I'm sorry, it's just we try to keep it to two visitors maximum. It's a shame they never gave this Sir, nurse a real name. You can't do that. All of this needs to no, stay no, on. No, no, no electricity, you understand? No, it needs to be on. I'm hey, getting security. No, These uh, minor wait, wait, connections wait, between the two wait, series wait, wait, are awesome. 47. Officer Saxton came to the White residence when Skylar tried to bust Walt for moving back in without her consent. Hello, ma'am. We were called about a disturbance? It's more of a trespassing situation, really. He was also called out to Danny's house because of baseball cards. I'm Officer Baker, this is Officer Saxton. Yeah, please, come on in. 46. Can I answer any questions? Oh, spoons. Stephanie found out that Marie stole a spoon from her open house and confronted her at a second open house. Go! Go! Where she also stole a picture frame. There's that same Venture Realty sign. How are we looking? Oh, it's perfect. Do you have another hour? We could go down to the office, get the pre-approval in order, all that. She looks so different in Better Call Saul, but it is the same actress. The next tier is characters you're more likely to recognize, although their reveals are pretty uneventful. 45. Harry appeared several times in Breaking Bad. We're putting bracelets on three shitbirds as we speak. That beard is unmistakable. 44. We first learned about Ignacio when Saul mentioned him during the kidnapping. No, it wasn't me, it was Ignacio, he's the one! He's an amazing and vital character in Better Call Saul, but we didn't know that when he was introduced to us as Nacho, which is why his reveal is ranked so low. The dots were connected seven episodes later. And that fella you just met with. Name is Ignacio Varga. 43. The same is true for Danny. This dump isn't gonna work because it doesn't have a Danny, okay? There's no Danny here. Especially because he introduced himself with a fake name. Uh, my name is Price. Um, actually, that's not my name. But his initial reveal was at least more entertaining. 42. Gonzo is at least recognizable. 41. Fran was part of this memorable scene. Oh my god, Dwayne, this is so... Thank you. How did I not see you sitting back there? So weird. <laughs> you want anything else, Mike? No. I'm good, Fran. Thanks. <laughs> So it's nice to see her again, although she doesn't do much in Better Call Saul. 40. We only get one quick glimpse of Stacy in Breaking Bad. Bye, Papa. 
Although she becomes a major character in Better Call Saul, her reveal is long and drawn out and also confusing because it's a different actress. 39. Tyrus was with Gus until the end. It's not in my interest for Hector Salamanca to die at this time. And he also starts appearing with Gus one episode after his Better Call Saul reveal. Take your pick. I've got to admit, it took me a while to recognize him as the supposedly younger Tyrus looks like his own dad. 38. La sangre se paga con sangre. Juan Bolsa, part of the cartel and mediator between the Salamancas and Gus, first appears in this flashback. Bolsa! Which isn't a surprise considering the other characters in it. Bolsa! Okay, now we start getting to some cool reveals. 37. Mr. Ponytail on the sidewalk, that's Ira, he's the owner. Ira owns Vomino's Pest, a legitimate business that's also involved in burglaries and eventually Walt's meth production. How much poison are you using? He appears as the burglar Jimmy hires to steal the Hummel figurine from Neff Copy. We're gonna do this again. I'll find something. 36. It's called the cook. Because everything comes down to following a recipe. Victor, who famously lost his life to a box cutter. <laughs> has a slick entrance in Better Call Saul. 35. This man needs help! This man pays my salary. Gus's personal doctor, no relation to Saul, is back. Uh, 34. Just remember who you're working for. Nodos had this memorable interaction with Tuco in Breaking Bad. What did you say? I'm just saying, they gotta know that they're working for you. Like they don't already know that? Are you saying that they're stupid? No, nah, I'm just, I'm just saying. So I don't understand, are you saying that I'm stupid? Although Nodos is revealed the same way as Gonzo, it's hilarious to see him make the same mistake. Black eyes? <laughs> that ain't nothing! That one there, Holmes, he already got a black eye, fool. Stop helping. 33. Can you come to my house? Mike took Kaylee's pig to Chow's house to help him kill Chris. Chris, turn around very slowly. Yeah. Six years earlier, we see how she got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's perhaps unrealistic that she plays with the pig for six years and keeps it in pristine condition, but it's a cool easter egg nonetheless. 32. Speaking of Kaylee, we last saw her in Breaking Bad swinging while Mike had to escape. They're coming for you right now. So her swinging reveal in Better Call Saul is a touching reminder of the last time she ever saw her grandpa. Hi. This makes for a great reveal. 31. <laughs> really running me through my paces here. Uh. <laughs> and going back to this scene. We have Lipton's. That's pretty much all we have. I would like a cup of hot water filtered, if possible, and a single slice of lemon. And I'm assuming you don't have stevia. Never mind. I brought my own. It's interesting to see Lydia before she becomes the nervous wreck we know from Breaking Bad, as well as her involvement in the super lab. Well, it could work. And her reveal is the first time we actually see her with Gus. Okay then. 30. Walt meets with Lawson twice in Breaking Bad, first selling him a handgun, then later the M60 and the car that ends it all in the finale. Basically any lawman worth his salt's gonna spot that, yeah. That's the Armalite AR-50. To help Nacho deal with Tuco, Mike goes to Lawson to check out his guns. I got the loophole Mark IV on it now, but I can always upgrade you to a Schmidt and Bender. Mike also meets with him twice in Better Call Saul. 29 and 28. We'll finish this tier with the dramatic reveal of this basically inseparable pair. Later in the episode, their signature Lucchese boots with skull tips make a cameo. Now the excitement level is ramping up. 27. Tim helped investigate Walt's fugue state disappearance, Marie's open house kleptomania, and Gail's murder. Oh, Jesus. What now? She rob a bank? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Rock collecting? They're minerals. Detective Tim Roberts. That's his number. If the smell is coming from under your porch, it is most likely a possum. He's back to handle Fred Whalen's murder. 26. I'm going to count this because I think it's implied that Saul eventually buys this from the Kettlemans. She's an iconic part of Saul's office and revealed to us like the other characters. 25. If you're committed enough, you can make any story work. I, I once convinced a woman that I was Kevin Costner and it worked because I believed it. Hey. We get to witness this, hey. which is a great callback. You are not. Kevin Costner. I was last night. Jesus. 24. Spooge is remembered for his tragic and unusual death. No, 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 don't, don't, no. 
It's nice to see him in better shape in Better Call Saul. You're the guy, right? What guy's that? Salamanca's guy. 23. Where's my root beer? Come on. I got a pee and I got low blood sugar. <laughs> Wendy's pretty much the same, although this is a cool reveal. <laughs> Had a customer. Okay, okay, but it's time to go. Getting a root beer. I put two quarters in. 22. Door like this? It's gonna cost way more than 1700. What? For a plate of glass? No. Oh, yeah? I bet it does. Bet you winds up costing 20,000. <laughs> Are you insane? Now I'm thinking 25. In Better Call Saul, Francesca pops up unexpectedly. Hello? Oh, hey, come on in. Hi, I'm Francesca Liddy. I'm here for the interview. It's nice to see her before she turns into the hardened secretary in Breaking Bad. <laughs> 21. The last time we see Don Eladio in Breaking Bad, he involuntarily goes for a swim. That's why his reveal in Better Call Saul is so striking. And now, we've reached the top 20. 20. I'll give you two a minute. Ed was great in Breaking Bad and a huge part of El Camino. Two of products are right over there on the wall behind you. Best quality vacuum, how may I help you? Yeah, I need an adapter for a Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60. His reveal in Better Call Saul was bittersweet as it was shortly after the actor's death. We've delivered to you before, haven't we? Mr. Takovic. That will be a very difficult part to obtain. 19. 5% mehr. When we're introduced to Peter, he's distraught over his and Gus's secrets coming out. We know a good thing when we see it, so we are planning to fully roll out Avocado Mania in Q2. Besides the slow reveal filled with clues, I just love Cleo, the whisker stays lady. In fact, we are happy to share the news that the latest ACSI survey now places whisker stays in the top 10% of limited service chains nationwide. <laughs> Very nice, Cleo. Very nice. Thank you. We get to see Peter during much happier times. 18. Got dipping sticks. Venezia's Pizzeria provided the famous unsliced pizza from Breaking Bad. It appears several times in Breaking Bad. What am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, just a large cheese. Yes, sliced, please. Could you also throw in some dipping sticks? But appears again in Better Call Saul when Mr. Neff orders it while sleeping at the office. 17. We're talking major barnyard boo -haw. Ken was the annoying guy with the BMW Walt destroys. At this fancy hotel, we hear his voice in the background for a long time until it becomes noticeable. Donkey balls. Pure donkey balls, dude. Who needs that aggravation? Hey, buddy, could you settle a bet for us? And what? He becomes the very first victim of Victor and Giselle's schemes. 16. Emilio is one of the OGs from the pilot. Hey, I know you. He was there when I got busted. He's with the DEA. Emilio Koyama. We learn that Saul got him out of jail, which ended up being worse for him in the long run. Where's your paperwork? I don't do no paperwork. He doesn't do paperwork. Who cares? Come on, come on. 15. Crazy eight. Don't you have a real name? Domingo. What does your dad do? He owns Tampico Furniture, Romano. Tampico is the name. Oh. <laughs> Crazy Eight is another pilot character and played a pivotal role despite only appearing in the first three episodes of Breaking Bad. It's all there. Shh. Let the man count. Fourteen. I want you to have what you need. Oh, well, I doff my proverbial cap to you, sir. <laughs> Neptunium, Germanium, and Iron Americium, Ruthenium, Uranium, Europium, Zirconium, Lutetium, Vanadium, and Lanthanum, and Osmium, and Astatine, and Radium, and Golden Protactinium, and Indium, and Gallium. Oh! <laughs> uh, that was tinkering with something. Thirteen. Lalo didn't send you! No, Lalo! Who? Oh, thank God! Lalo's reveal is quite fun and dramatic, and unlike Ignacio, he does reveal who he is right away. Salamanca family. Yo soy Eduardo, but you can call me Lalo. Twelve. I'm nobody's lawyer. The fun's over. 
From here on out, I'm Mr. Low Profile, just another douchebag with a job and three pairs of Dockers. If I'm lucky, a month from now, best case scenario, I'm managing a Cinnabon in Omaha. It's hard to know where to rank the reveal of Saul Goodman, because it's not a surprise to see him at the start of his own series. What is a surprise is the gradual reveal that we're looking at a post-Breaking Bad world and that his sarcastic prophecy came true. Eleven. Zafiro Añejo. I did a whole video about Zafiro and Yeho, so I won't go into it all here, but it plays a big recurring role in Better Call Saul, and the reveal here is a fun surprise. The Zafiro and Yeho? Yeah. That's correct, actually, believe it or not. Holy shit, a $50 shot of tequila? The top 10 are basically goosebump moments. 10. We're gonna make a lot of money together. Good afternoon, this The pilot episode ends with a bang, as Jimmy's path surprisingly crosses with Tuco. Nine. Can I help you? I'll tell you what this is about, Mr. Banneke. This is about you and me doing our best to keep Huel happy. Huel? Who's Huel? This is Huel. Huel! You happy? Reasonably. I need a real pro. You gotta fit him in a tight space? I don't think so. I got just a guy then. Excuse me. Until seeing them side by side, I didn't realize how much Huel changed between the two shows. Eight. <clears throat> Three dollars. Uh, I'm validated. See the stickers? Well, I see five stickers. You're one shy. It's three dollars. They gave me, look, I'm validated for the entire day, okay? Five stickers, six stickers, I don't know from stickers because I was in that court back there, saving people's lives, so... Well, oh, gee, that's swell. And thank you for restoring my faith in the judicial system. Seven. How cool was that? The 40 seconds without dialogue really draw you in as you wait for the reveal. My name, I join you. What can I get you? Coffee, black. It's coming right up. Mm. He really did a number on you. Six and five. The first clue for these reveals is in the episode description. That's so good. I was so excited to see Hank and Gomi. The show really started to feel connected to Breaking Bad at this point. Excuse me. Hey, Marina. How's the boy? He's good, Hank. He's what, uh, third base? Catcher. Catcher. Hey, Steve. Looking good, Marina. Four. Did anyone else gasp when they saw her? Who would have guessed that Marie is the final Breaking Bad character to reappear in Better Call Saul? They tell me they found you in a garbage dumpster. And she's such a great addition to a perfect finale. Well, that makes sense. Three. This was the biggest buildup by far, starting with the season two finale that teased his appearance and the season two episode titles that foreshadowed it. In season three, Mike worked on tracking him down over two episodes. After over five minutes with zero dialogue while Mike investigates, we get our first clues. This sign pole that fans might recognize, a familiar Volvo, and thanks to Mark for pointing that one out, and glimpses of familiar windows. Then we get this dramatic reveal to cap off an unbelievable 7 minutes and 38 seconds with no speaking. And we still don't get our first glimpse until later in the episode. You can cut the tension with a knife as he gets gradually closer. And after another 6 minutes and 37 seconds of no real dialogue... Can I help you? Uh, my watch uh, clasp uh, is loose. It falls. I tried to reach it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Allow me. Two and one. Jesus, Is a better way to do this? 
Better Call Saul's Breaking Bad episode starts off with new perspectives of events from Breaking Bad's Better Call Saul episode. So it's pretty clear who will be revealed later. What the hell is this? It's like James Whale's traveling roadshow in here. Whatever the hell that is. Crystal ship definitely travels. Uh, I'm sorry, you said the what? Travels? Crystal ship. What do I call this thing? All right, never mind. Just no details. And those are the 55 characters. They really help the Breaking Bad universe feel cohesive, despite the obvious reverse aging that some of the characters experience. They add an extra level of excitement when watching Better Call Saul. That's why I continue to be mystified by people who watch Better Call Saul before Breaking Bad. Do they get a similar character reveal experience watching Breaking Bad? Like, wow, look what happened to Spooge. Leave a comment with your experience if you've actually done this. Shout out to my channel members. Thanks for your continued support and thanks to everyone who has watched, commented, liked, and subscribed.